it's cheap, it's well equipped, it looks good for the year, and you've got a lot of toys in there for what it is. What makes the Volkswagen Passat the people's choice? Stay tuned to find out. So you can pick up a Volkswagen Passat now for around about £1,000, maybe a little bit more for a good one. That's the B6 model like I've got. So mine's a 2 litre TDI 6 speed manual, Sport 140 brake. Uh, the sport spec I think gives you uh, slightly bigger alloy wheels so rather than the 16s I think you can get minus 17s. I've got black Nappa leather seats which are really nice optional extra. They're uh, heated seats as well so in the winter like days like today I can just flick it on. For some weird reason my heated seats are the wrong way around. A bit strange so the left one heats mine and the right one heats the passenger seat so that's a bit strange but it still goes all right for a 13 year old car can't really complain too much to be honest i've just been to hatchet's pond to feed the swans there uh, there's only three that i could see that's the car loads of room it's very comfortable the only one thing it's lacking that i really miss from my previous car this car doesn't have cruise control, I'm sure it's like a simple optional extra to have on other models but this car does not have cruise control and it's really frustrating. So it handles quite well in the wet as well, uh, the traction accelerating perhaps isn't as good as like uh, a rear wheel drive car maybe or obviously a quattro, four wheel drive, all wheel drive, whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically this is just a front wheel drive and it's 200 and something pounds of foot torque so it's alright for a daily, I won't call it a sports car, even though it's got a sport spec, it's just very standard. But when you consider what other cars you could get for the same money, this car does tick a lot of boxes. So this would be very highly likely on my list of cars to buy in the future if I only had a thousand pound or so to spend on a car. I've had this car for four years. I've put about 10,000 miles per year on it. It's gone through most of its MOTs okay. I think the last one, it failed on the rear springs. So the rear springs sit in a little plastic cup and uh, wet leaves and other sort of gunky rope residue sits in that little cup and slowly rots away the springs. So I've had two new rear springs put on the back. Um, I've had an anti-roll bar linkage on the front. Uh, the cam belt I had replaced myself because the water pump decided to give up on the way back from Scotland so that's not good but touch wood. There's no wood in here. Let's, let's touch black instead. Touch black. It, uh, performs well for the next few years, maybe months. I would really like an Audi S3 Quattro. I just drive a lot of four wheel drive cars at work at the moment. And um, the traction you get off of an all wheel drive car just, just far surpasses that of a front wheel drive car like this. Especially when it's wet and it's winter. You just want something that's gonna grip a bit better, especially in the UK. Volkswagen Passat has a very nice interior uh, for the year as well. So this is a 2006 Reg car. If you look at this interior compared to 2006 like Ford Focus, this is just on another, on another, on another level. On another, on a, on a, on a, I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Yeah. I've fitted a new stereo. I've changed all the speakers to Hertz. Hertz speakers, I've got Hertz components in the front, Hertz coaxial speakers in the rear. I've installed an amplifier as well. I wanted it to be a bit like the Dyne audio system you get standard in the Volkswagen Passats. But it goes quite loud. The bass perhaps isn't there, but then if you wanted a bit of bass, you'd go and buy yourself a subwoofer. And now I'm just gonna end the video here. If there's anything you'd like to know about the Volkswagen Passat, Please let me know and I'll get back to you because I've had this car for four years. One thing I do like though, 
in the door when you open it, if it's raining, there's a little compartment to keep an umbrella. Just pull it out, pop it, and then boom, you've got an umbrella above your head, a bit like you get on a Rolls Royce. So that's kind of a cool feature. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. Please like and subscribe, hit the little bell button to be notified of my notifications, and I'll get back to you with any information you like as soon as possible. Cheers, like and subscribe.